What I know about decluttering is that it has taught me that your spaces are meant for living in, for loving in, for enjoying in, for resting in. They're not meant as a space for storage. Hey friends, welcome to Minimalese. My name is Becky Truda, and on this channel, I talk about decluttering and minimizing and how all those things have helped to change my life in the best way. So today we're going to do a 20 minute declutter because I strongly believe that setting yourself a mindset of how long you're gonna take and really also deciding uh, how many things you really wanna find really has helped me to declutter not only faster, but smarter and to really use my time wisely. So today is a 20 minute declutter and I'm trying to find 20 things. I'm gonna walk you through the things that I'm getting rid of and talk about all those things uh, also at the end. Today, I'm just gonna grab a trash bag. I'm gonna keep it extremely simple and easy. Um, but if you think that you're gonna find even more or maybe you're setting yourself a higher standard, remember to grab a couple of different bags. Um, you could use a black trash bag or a box if you have it to separate out things into different categories. I always think that's super helpful if you're going to do a bigger declutter. So guys, let's set our timer for 20 minutes and let's go get started decluttering our house and living a simpler life. I'm starting in my bedroom where I already know there's going to be a few things that I can get rid of. Okay friends, so when you get in your closet, if you're doing this quickly, which is what I am, I'm doing this in 20 minutes, I'm just gonna do a quick like just touch through things. If it's not something that I really love, I'm gonna get rid of it and move on and put it in my donation bag. But I feel like in your closet, uh, most likely, unless you've been decluttering a ton, you have things that you automatically know you never wear and you're not going to wear in the next six months, you haven't worn in the last six months, and this is your time to tell yourself, I give myself permission, sorry, I'm spitting, I give myself permission, I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna move on because this is the time I've designated to do that. And I'm giving myself permission and I'm gonna let somebody else really enjoy it. All right, so I just put my hands in and I start just quickly browsing through. Is it something that I really like? Not. I'm gonna get rid of it and move on. All right, so not a whole lot of things um, in this one. All right, so I'm going to my pants area now and I pretty much know that I've already decluttered this area really well. I'm gonna do a, just a quick walkthrough of it, but I'm pretty sure everything in here is going to stay. Um, so, just doing a uh, quick observation of what you have really helps you get a grasp of, you know, do I have too much? Do I not have enough kind of thing? Um, so this is good. These are my clothes. I'm not going into my husband's stuff over here yet. That's, you know, I'm gonna wait for him to get home. All right, so I just have some jewelry in here and um, some things that I've been meaning to get rid of anyway. So I tend to hang on to jewelry probably longer than I need to. Um, I have a hard time getting rid of them and I don't really know why. Uh, it's just one of those things for me. Jewelry is the thing, it's hard for me to get rid of, but I don't really wear jewelry very often. So it really doesn't make any sense that I hang on to it for so long, but we all have our thing. All right, friends, so I got a comment on my last video about, um, it was just a very sarcastic comment about like getting rid of everything and then, I, then you have nothing. Um, and I just wanna say like decluttering and minimizing your life is up to you. And it's totally uh, a feeling you get when you know you have enough and then you don't need to go past that. You don't need to go where you're suffering. And if you actually came to my house, you'd realize that there is no suffering going on, that we all have plenty of things uh, to keep us warm, to keep us happy, to entertain us. 
And so I'm definitely not saying get rid of everything that brings you joy. Don't get rid of anything that brings you joy and happiness. But once you get rid of everything else that doesn't, then you actually can figure out what uh, your priorities are and where your time should lie. I'd rather spend time in my house being able to relax and take a deep breath and enjoy the things that are around me instead of always feeling like I have too many chores to do, I have too much cleaning to do, because things equal projects and that's just the way it is. If you have too many projects, you're never gonna be able to sit down and really take a deep breath and relax. All right, so I'm gonna quickly just go through my bathroom and um, quickly just do a assessment of what I have and if there's anything that I can get rid of. All right, so this is underneath my sink. I have recently decluttered this not too long ago, but I'm gonna go through real quick and just see if there's anything else that I'm ready to let go and keep moving. All right, y'all, so let's see. Sometimes it really helps me actually physically touching the items I have. Um, to know if I'm ready to let them go. So let's see. Um. All right, it's pretty basic under here. So I got rid of uh, one thing of self tanner that I don't really like that much um, and get rid of that. And let's go to my makeup cabinet. All right, so this is my husband's side with his things, and then this is mine, and my things have my makeup um, and our toothbrush stuff that I keep in here, um, lotion that I use, medicine I have, deodorant, um, one of those eyelash curler things. Um, so pretty basic, and I do use all of these things on a pretty regular basis, so um, all I did was take out uh, an old eyeshadow that I think is probably ready to go. It's pretty old. And then some things my friend had given me that I'm just not using. Um, and then in my husband's, his is pretty basic. Um, ah! Well, it was basic. Well, that was, um, that was dramatic, wasn't it? Go ahead and put his things back in since I threw them on the ground. Sorry, Jordan. All right, so I didn't really see anything that I thought he was ready to let go. Um, so it's a little messy in here, um, but he keeps, you know, all of his basics that he uses every day in here. Um, and when he gets home, I can talk to him about it. But right now, I don't see anything off the bat that immediately sticks out to me. All right, let's head over to the closet. I need to go ahead and put this away. This is our very tiny but very useful closet in our bathroom. So this is where we keep all of the sheets, medicines, hair stuff, toiletries that are too big. Um, this is the vacuum I keep upstairs, which I've talked about before. I love that one. And we keep our dog stuff in here. And so I try to keep it as organized as possible and as pleasing to the eye. But up here we have um, our steamer, which I use on my husband's clothes occasionally, and my hair thing I just showed you put I put away. This is what we use when we travel. Um, those are really the only three I think we ever need. And then I have extra pair of sheets in here. This is for my daughter's bed. It's her extra. Um, waterproof sheet to go on her bed. This is where I keep all of our towels. I mean, not towels. This is where we keep all of our rags and hand towels. So I do like to have a good amount of those um, because I don't use paper towels very often. Um, and then our medicine. So let's check out the medicine real quick. All right, so in here we have all of our medicine.
I don't really like to keep too much medicine. Um, one, it does go old and I feel like, I just feel like we don't use it very often. So I try to only keep things that I know that we use on a pretty regular basis. So I can just quickly show you what's in here. Um, we have like daily vitamins. Um, these are some wipes that I got a while ago, but they're still good. So I'm not gonna get rid of them yet. Um, and just some of the basic medicines, allergy medicine, some pain reliever in case we really need it. All right, so these are all the hair things that my daughter and I have. Uh, we just, as a family, share our hairbrush. I just find that to be a lot easier. And I don't really see anything. I've already gone through this not too long ago. Um, so I don't really see anything that needs to be gone. She does like to have bows every once in a while. Um, and I usually use a scrunchie. So I think it's pretty good. All right, so I threw away um, a self-tanner that I don't really like. I threw away uh, some aloe that's just really old that we haven't been using. And um, I also threw away something else. Some, oh, I threw away the old eyeshadow um, that I haven't been using in a long time. And I think makeup definitely has a shelf life. And so it has been a long time for that. So I threw that away. Um, and let's see, what else did I get rid of? Oh. And then I'm donating these like under eye patches just because the package is not open. Um, and so I feel like somebody could probably use it um, and not think it's gross. So this is what my living room looks like right now. Um, my brother lives here with us and it looks like he left out his headphones. So I'm just gonna put those back on his desk. Um, we have a um, little thank you card. That's my daughter. She wrote a little thank you card to her friend from her birthday. We gave her like a paint set and we need to send that to them. Um, we keep like random things like uh, gift cards and those are our earbuds in this little basket by the door. And in here we have some mail we need to keep. So this is an invitation to a party, um, my keys. And then over here is where we keep the um, dog leashes and my bag that I use. And so those are all good right now. I'm just gonna put those headphones away in a minute. And then basically this is, this is okay for me. Um, I like to have little homes for things. So this is one of my very favorite pictures. So I do keep that. I keep a candle when the dogs get too stinky. Um, and some chapstick and the remote. And then I really, really try to work on keeping flat surfaces clear. So whenever you have a coffee table, you have a um, behind the couch table, just trying to keep them as clear as possible really is gonna help with your visual clutter. Um, I'm getting something to fix these cords. Um, I thought we already had some, like the double tape kind of stuff that can hold it up, but we don't, so I'm gonna look for that. Uh, the Thanksgiving turkey can go away. My daughter took that out. That's our one little decoration for Thanksgiving. So we're gonna put that back in the box where it belongs. What I have actually come to find with uh, decorations now, by far Christmas is the biggest one. We have the most things to decorate for Christmas. But um, like I was saying, the turkey is the only thing we have for Thanksgiving. We have a few things outside for Halloween um, because I love decorating for Halloween, but uh, actually having fewer things for each holiday makes my daughter really appreciate and take care of the things that we have. And I didn't really think about that. You know, when it comes to decorating for holidays, I feel like everyone always says, you know, more is better. It, it, everything needs to be, everything needs to be super festive. Every piece of furniture in your house needs to be covered with everything. But from what I've found is that it's it's actually, you know, when you go to other people's houses, it's not that we don't appreciate it, I totally do. Um, but I found that when I had a ton, one, it would stress me and my husband out and the whole putting out and the putting away is just becomes a fight. And then on top of that, like, my daughter really just appreciates the things that we have, the things that we keep. We have these little houses that we keep um, that Jordan's mom gave us and we have, you know, a few decorations that we put up around the house. We always get a tiny little tree to decorate with our uh, ornaments we have. But um, 
I feel like less is more when it comes to decorating for holidays. At least at my house, it, it, it really means that we appreciate what we have. And when we go to other people's houses or, you know, when we go to, um, we'll go to King's Dominion and see all their decorations because that's like a amusement park near us. And you just you appreciate it or my daughter and I appreciate it from the outside. But then in our house, we just don't, we don't need all of that. Um, we need enough to really, you know, bring in the cheer and make it fun, but we don't need so much that it becomes a fight and it just becomes everywhere and stresses me out. But that's just my opinion. You can do what you want. All right, so let's go into my dining room. Um, like I was saying about flat surfaces, I, I actually, I don't keep anything on here. I used to have um, like a plant in the middle. I used to have tablecloth and runners and all that stuff. And I've just found that Personally, this table is just so beautiful. My husband built it. Um, this wood on the top is so beautiful and I just don't wanna cover it. So I just enjoy keeping it flat and easy. And so it's ready for homework and dinners and everything in between. Um, I also, besides my Roomba who needs to go back home, I don't have any other furniture in here uh, because I just got tired of having to clean up after it and you know try to manage it. And I really ended up not really needing the furniture. All right, but let's go to the kitchen and continue our decluttering. It's your baby. It's your baby. Yeah, you your baby. y'all right, i'm gonna go ahead and declutter these few chocolates here um i very much recommend decluttering your candy especially before your child gets home So in here, it just has some things that people have given us. Like my mom gave me these bags and actually this has been used like two or three times, but I, I keep aluminum foil that people have given me and I just reuse it because um, it's so bad for our environment that I really just try to keep what I can. And a lot of times with aluminum foil, you can use it several times before it's, you know, broken and awful. We have a few of these, uh, Things for our fire pit for when we do marshmallows and so we're gonna keep that and this is just for the grill here's some more of my aluminum foil I keep moving over here I don't really think I have anything to get rid of I have this is where I keep my bigger appliances like my toaster I have a can opener there a bowl my mom gave me my other big bowl and this is some baking stuff. This pan is actually my mom's, but she let me borrow it. Um, so I'm keeping it until I'm ready and I'm done making muffins. Let's see up here. Uh, that's my brother's. And this stuff I think we're all still basically using. So good. Okay, so we're done with the kitchen. So this is the rest of my kitchen. I keep uh, our dog stuff over here and there's our microwave. Um, I also, I think this is actually very handy. Um, I use this for my broom. And then this is where the dog stuff is. I hate this floor, but you know, for another time. So these are the things I'm getting rid of over here. Okay, so like I was saying about flat surfaces earlier, this kitchen, um, it can definitely get crowded very quickly. I do not have a lot of counter space and that's why my lovely husband built this over here um, because we needed something for the microwave, but uh, I just try to keep as many things off the counter as possible. 
things like my coffee maker. Uh, my dad gave me that one and it works really well. And so putting it in the cabinet just wouldn't make sense. But like the toaster, I don't need the toaster out all the time because I don't use it all the time. And then that, um, let's call it Barbara over there so that it doesn't set yours off. Uh, that's my husband's and he really likes it. So, you know, what am I to judge? Um, but normally I wouldn't want that out, but he likes it. Um, and then I like to keep some of our uh, food that I cook with all the time out just to make my life a little easier. And bananas, of course, those can't go away. Um, but um, our dishwasher recently broke and it's actually been kind of a blessing because um, I've just find that I really don't mind washing dishes. And because we have so few dishes, um, we just wash them right after we use them. Um, but these are all the dishes we have. And so you really, you have to wash them right after you use them. Um, or there won't be enough and pans and stuff. We just wash when we're done. So it's been, it's been good. All right, y'all, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I have a closet here that holds most of our stuff. Um, because my brother lives here now, some of his stuff is out as well, but these are my husband and my daughter and my shoes that we keep out. Um, it's getting a little more crowded in here just because we have brought out some jackets because it's getting colder here in Virginia. Go through things and see if I can pick a few things, um, that are ready to go and then I'm done. So decluttering doesn't need to be super hard. It doesn't need to be... Um, take you a lot of time. It doesn't need to exhaust you. It can be quick. Just the things that are easy, you don't have to think about too hard. Get rid of those first and move on and your life will be a little bit lighter. So let's get started. I did grab a pair of my husband's shoes that he's already said he needs to get rid of because they literally have holes in the top that you can stick your finger in. Um, so these are definitely ready to go, probably just to the trash because they are well-worn and loved. Um, these shoes, I think he never wears these, so I'm gonna ask him about those ones. Um, his old flip-flops, I'm gonna ask him about those when he gets home, see if he's ready to get rid of those. And then we have just his dress shoes. My daughter has her cowboy boots, her sandals that are her favorite. These we don't really need. She doesn't, she doesn't really like flip-flops like this. Um, so that was an experiment. It just didn't work. So we're ready to let those go. Um, she's wearing her tennis shoes right now, which are really her favorite shoes. Um, and then me, these are my favorite flip-flops. Got my hiking boots. These are my favorite tennis shoes really walking shoes. I don't really like these very much. Um, so I think I'm ready to let these go. They don't, they just don't feel very good. Um, I have two pairs of my dress shoes, which these leopard ones are ready to go at any moment, but I love them so much. There's like a huge hole down here. Um, but I'm going to hang on to them for a little bit longer until they actually really fall apart. Um, a pair of dress boots, my slippers, I really need to just clean it out in here. And then I have one pair of dress shoes. So I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of shoes. Um, and I can't really think of anything else, any other shoes I'd want. I used to have, um, a pair of, uh, like fake Uggs. Um, I think they're like bare skin or something. And those are really nice, actually. I kind of wish I still had those. But when it comes to like getting rid of stuff, sometimes you do get rid of things that uh, you wish you had again. And um, I think I've just realized that I'd rather have that like 1% of things that I'm kind of sad I got rid of um, than the 99% of all the rest. So, you know, I don't even need them though. Like I have shoes that I'm actually very happy with, so I haven't gone out and bought them and I probably won't. Um, but you know, 
if I was to get rid of them now, no, I probably wouldn't. I would have kept them. But you know, that's kind of one of those things. Like you have to get to the point in your life where you're so done with clutter that it's okay to get rid of the 1% that you might regret down the line a little bit to get rid of the other 99% that you're never going to think about again. And that will actually just make your life a lot easier. So you have to be kind of brave. Like you have to be, you know, kind of cutthroat. I have two of these smaller containers that I'm not using. Um, they're not really necessary. They were an idea and I'm just gonna let them go. I have another pair of shoes that we tried with my daughter, but she just doesn't really like flip flops. And so we're gonna let those go. Um, some still closed eye under eye things that my friend gave me, but I don't really like them. An older pair of flip-flops, but still manageably okay. So I think I am gonna donate those. Um, they have a little more life in them. And then I have a cup, a pair of socks that are still nice. Um, so I'm gonna donate those, a pair of earrings I've been meaning to get rid of, a bracelet, and a ring. All right, friends, that was it. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little decluttering session and I hope to see you again next week. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you enjoyed it and uh, happy decluttering, friends.